get very excited about the technology. It's a very important piece of our classroom right now. The pre-K students, they often um, feed on the excitement of their facilitator, parents, um, babysitter, teacher. So when, they're ex when they see my excitement about technology, it's gonna transfer to them. So I work with a lot of ESL students. Um, using this, the um, Hatch technology, I, I, I'm able to sit one-on-one -on -one and I can actually walk them through a series of activities to see if they're um, gaining the skills that I want them to gain from that activity or from the lesson that I've taught previously. This is very important for reducing the technology gap and achievement gap. Uh, because it actually supplements what is happening in the classroom. A piece of the software that I really enjoy the most is the, the teacher interaction part of it, the RMS system. Now, with inside the system, there is it's a list of students that's in my classroom, and it has all the different skill levels listed. Once a week, I'll go back and I revisit where the, where the students are at. Uh, I really enjoy that because that way I know where I need to come back to. I get a quick snapshot on what their abilities are and where level they're at. And the progress report also shows the time the student is paying on the, on the activity. It shows what the activity was. It shows the emerging skills, the development skills. It, it has everything there. And also if the student is working on the skill and they're um, I want them to refocus on the same skill because I noticed they need some extra support. I can also look at the software and say, I would like this student to work on this skill for a duration of time. And then we can check back in a couple weeks and see if there's an improvement in that skill level. And I can show the parents, all right, here is where your child is at. This is the next level your child needs to get to. And I can show them how we can work as a team to move the student to that next level. Instead of it being on an axillary part of the, the class routine, it's becoming more and more part of the, um, our routine. The student doesn't really know they're learning their letters. They really don't know they're learning the listening skills. But as they progress into the, the iStar Smart software, it, it teaches them. I, I noticed that the, the games they really enjoy is the, the alphabet game. Um, the alphabet game is uh, they show letters and underneath the letters there's a picture that's associated with that letter um, like P for pig, C for cow. Once they find that letter they get the reward. They, it's a vegetable garden that grows so they want to know what that vegetable is at the end of this task. The most rewarding piece for me is the seeing the uh, the light comes on or when they, the kids get excited for doing an activity or learning something new they haven't learned before and coming in and, um, and talking to me about it and, and saying, look what I did, I found the letter or I found my name or uh, it, it's just exciting when they actually are gaining the knowledge that I present before them. What's that? What's underneath that? A cow. This is a very important piece of, of the students learning. If we want successful kids in, in, in our schools, we have to give them every opportunity to use technology and to use it appropriately and have teachers to facilitate what they're gaining from that.